Greetings, my name is Virginia Taylor Tribu. My husband, Colonel Isaac Tribu, and I founded and developed this area now called Ponta Gorda. Before I list the details, a little about my background. I was born in Savannah, Georgia, to a well-to-do family. Savannah is a city that was founded on the concept of hospitality, and I did my utmost to live up to that ideal. I was well educated, especially in the disciplines of art and music. I play the piano as well. I married my husband right after the war between the states in 1865. My mother, Charlotte Scarborough Taylor, was a remarkable lady being one of the first female entomologists in the Americas. Two of her workbooks were rescued from a burn pile in the 1960s, almost a century later. They are archived and are now in the Englewood Library. Plans are being made to have them digitally scanned and made available to the public for viewing. In 1883, after purchasing most of the land in this area from an animal trapper named James Madison Lanier, we made plans to move from our home in Kentucky. We moved into a run-down wooden shack on the edge of the water. We shared this less than perfect accommodations with an assortment of snakes, alligators and panthers. There were no streets or stores in that brutal first year. In February of 1885, Isaac directed a gentleman named Kelly B. Harvey to plat our land, naming it after ourselves, Tribune. On December 3rd, 1887, at Tom Hector's Billiard Hall, the name of Tribune was no more. On that fateful date, 34 men voted to change the name of Tribune to Ponta Gorda, as well as incorporating the area. My husband Isaac took this result as a personal, professional and financial affront. I began to examine elements and areas that were important to me and my faith. In 1892, I helped develop the St. James Mission that became the Church of Good Shepherd. <coughs> Although my husband was a brilliant and accomplished man, a judicious lawyer and capable military officer, he was far from perfect. His explosive temper and bitter sarcasm kept others at a formal distance. Now, I found that a regular game of chess calmed his nerves as well as stimulated his intellect. I then entertained the idea of creating an annual chess tournament. Isaac, an extremely skillful player, composed a 24-page brochure on how to play American or four-handed chess. Isaac's version of American chess involved four players on a very large board in the shape of a Maltese cross. Our successful chess tournaments were open to everyone, male and female. We grew pineapples to fund and support the tournaments. In 1907, my dear Isaac passed, but I remained in Ponta Gorda. It was home, and I wanted to keep it thriving and growing. I graciously gave away the land known as Cross Park to the city in 1911. It later became the land for the first Ponta Gorda City Hall building. I passed away in 1924, and my final resting place is the Indian Springs Cemetery. My name is Virginia Taylor Tribu, and I'm often credited as the First Lady of Ponta Gorda. I don't know if I can claim that accolade. However, I can say that this wonderful area, from Virginia Street to Taylor Street, from Tucker's Grade to Burnstow and to Charlotte Harbor, known as Ponta Gorda, is an area that I can call home. Thank you for letting me be a part of your centennial celebration.